Today I'm going to be talking about the immune system, what it consists of, why it's important that we give it the right tools to function correctly, and I'm going to be giving you some tips to help you kickstart you on your journey to improving your immune system. Hey guys and welcome to Live Well with Tia and the purpose of this channel is to inspire, motivate and coach you into a healthier lifestyle and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. My friends will always say that if I know something that is life-changing, I have to share it with so much enthusiasm. So that's why I've created this channel, to help others understand their health battles and their bodies, but as well as give you the right tools to overcome them in a more healthier and natural way. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be giving you some natural tips, knowledge and recipes specifically based on how to help aid the prevention and healing process of several conditions such as hormone imbalance, IBS, leaky gut, diabetes, acid reflux, high cholesterol, food intolerances and so much more. And guys, if you are struggling with any of the conditions I've just mentioned, and I really, really want to encourage you to educate yourself to understand your body. Because if you do, I promise you, you will get through this in a healthier and more natural way. Over the past few months, we've been told to stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. But what we haven't been given a lot of advice on is what we can do to protect ourselves physically and to save the NHS long term. Now, although we have this great system in place, I just want to answer a question that I know many people will have. Will boosting our immune systems prevent us from getting sick? Now, the real answer to that is we will all get sick sometimes. But what it will do is give our bodies the right tools to help fight off bacteria, viruses and parasites and keep us healthy. And if we do fall sick, it will help us to get well again. The immune system is like our body's personal army defending us from infection because every day we are exposed to germs, whether we like that or not. But fortunately for us, our immune system fights off those germs and helps keep us healthy. Many cells and organs create your immune system and protect your body. And there's white blood cells, also called as leukocytes, which are there to help eat up those invading organisms and basically eliminate them. Two kinds of white blood cells that I will touch on are called the B and T cells, also known as lymphocytes. B cells are like the body's military intelligence system, which grow in the bone marrow, which is like the spongy tissue inside of your bones. They find their targets and send defenses to lock onto them and are also triggered to make antibodies. T cells grow in the thymus, which is the upper part of the chest, and they destroy the invaders. They are like the killer cells. They kill off germs by also killing off the healthy body cells that have been affected. T cells also release messengers that send signals to other cells about the invader, kind of like a soldier calling for backup. The cells of both parts of the immune system are made in different organs of the body, including payer's patch, lymph nodes, spleen, bone marrow, and thymus. And for more information, watch through to the end of this video. Another organ is the skin, which is the single largest organ of the body. And it's also the first line of defense against germs. And it provides a physical barrier that keeps bacteria, viruses from entering the body. We have three types of immunity, the innate, adaptive, and passive. Today I'm going to be touching on the innate and adaptive immunity. The word innate stands for in, inner, nate, born. So in other words, everyone is born with an innate immunity. It's a natural immunity and a type of general protection. It's the first to respond when it finds an invader. It is made up of the skin, the eyes cornea and the mucous membrane that lines the respiratory, gastrointestinal and the genitourinary tract. And then we have the adaptive immunity. Adaptive, which is also called the active immunity, develops through our lives. 
and we develop adaptive immunity when we're exposed to diseases, viruses and chemicals. And the acquired immune system with the help of the innate system makes antibodies, which then protect our bodies from specific invaders. And sometimes people have problems with their immune system which keeps it from working properly. For example, allergies happen when the immune system overreacts and thinks something harmless is dangerous to the body. And some health conditions confuse the immune system and cause it to fight good cells instead of germs. Now I'm going to give you a few other signs that your immune system is working. Because when you do get a lot of these symptoms, the first thing people think is, how can I eliminate this? But I'm going to show you how we don't want to eliminate it. We simply want to give our body the right tools so that it can work effectively in that area. A runny nose helps wash germs from our nose and our sinuses. Coughing and sneezing. Within a few days of getting a viral infection, the fluid from our runny nose turns from a clear to a yellow-green kind of mucus. And this mucus is designed to trap offending viruses. So through coughing and sneezing, we're simply expelling them from our body. Fever helps fight and kill influenza viruses. And because they are sensitive to body heat changes, the body uses a fever to help destroy those viruses. But guys, even though I've just shown you that these are signs that your immune system is working, if any of these symptoms persist, please seek yourself some medical advice and consult your doctors. Your immune system fights for you without any help. However, there are some steps that you can take to make your immune system's job easier. Circulation of your blood. In order to have good health, we need to have good blood. How can we do this? By simply implementing some natural foods and herbs that will help cleanse your blood and your liver. Respiration. In order to have good blood, we need to make sure that we're breathing well. How can we do this? By exercising some deep breathing exercises, by drinking lots of water and avoiding harmful chemicals. Hygiene and cleanliness. Now guys, bacteria will live on our skin and surfaces. So it's super, super important that we do wash our hands like we're being reminded over and over again and that we clean surfaces that we know that we're going to touch. A healthy and balanced diet. I cannot stress how important it is. How can we do this? By simply implementing foods that are good for us and eliminating foods that are bad for us. Vitamin D. Now, in the week of me filming this video, the sun has been shining, so there has been plenty of it. That's right, vitamin D comes from the sun, and if we don't have the sun, we do recommend a supplement of vitamin D. Staying positive. A merry heart really is the best medicine that we can have. Research has showed that being positive and having an attitude of gratitude lessens the symptoms of a weakened immune system. Sleep. Oh my goodness, this is something that we all struggle with. I know I do. However, guys, seven to eight hours sleep is super important and it's super vital for those T cells to help fight off infections within your body. So sleep, guys. Get your rest. Go to bed early. Super important. Taking note myself. Exercise. Now, guys, this is my favorite. Why? Because exercise can help flush out bacteria from your lungs and your airwaves and improve your cardiovascular system. So guys, what are you waiting for? Let's go in. Don't you just love that when your body's given the right tools, it helps keep you healthy and safe? So let's give it the respect it deserves and treat it with kindness, knowledge, and love. Guys, I hope you found this useful. Now I know this is a very brief breakdown of the immune system, so that is why I have compiled lots of information, lots of research, lots of resources for you that I have put into an ebook called Understanding Your Immune System that you can find for free in my description box below. And don't forget to comment below and say hello. And make sure that you like, share and subscribe. And until we see each other next, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay blessed. Why am I stressing? I better call my blessings. Life could be.